Hey there, Toby Lipinski, Managing Editor of the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Coming today from the banks of the Lower Connecticut River as I just got back in from a morning of fishing with Captain John Frione and we also had the diving fishing, fisherman Mike Lapto on board. Threw some bunker over off the south side of Fishers this morning just after sunrise, got into some fish, got some awesome footage that's going to be coming to you very shortly at thefisherman.com, so stay tuned for that. Had a, you know, not a spectacular bite, but we got into some fish, and again, biggest thing, we got that on film, so stay tuned. There was some absolutely amazing footage that's going to come from today's show. So again, coming to you from the lower um, Connecticut River, there's tons of bunker down here right now. Actually, we just got back into the dock and I saw snapper blues working some uh, silver sides up in tight. Snapper blues are starting to get a little bit bigger here in Connecticut, finally. I know everybody's been uh, complaining the last few weeks. It's They've been on the, the very small side, uh, just barely good enough for bait. Definitely tough to put together a few for a dinner, but they're, they're hitting that size. And actually this afternoon, I can assure you, I'm going to be heading out with my son. We're going to hopefully get in and out of some snappers. Actually, I think we just had some popping here next to me, so excellent. It's, uh, be a good afternoon. So moving on to the forecast for the weekend, as always, we're going to start in Connecticut. Last week, obviously, the big news, or the big word on everybody's uh, lips was bluefish, because they had the WICC bluefish, as well as the Catch for the Cure. Uh, both of those tournaments went over extremely well, and finally, we had some bluefish on the Connecticut side of Long Island Sound. You know, most years, it seems like it's not dominated by the New York side. This year, nine of the top 15 bluefish, including the 17-plus pound winner, were weighed in at Connecticut shops. Uh, I didn't speak to any of those fishermen, but my guess is they were caught in and around the mouth of the Connecticut River, because there are some big bluefish in here right now. I was coming in off the water the other day and ran into a guy in a boat. He had bluefish to 15 pounds at dusk, not even really trying for them. So if you're targeting them, this is the time to get on some big choppers. And remember, the bluefish is one of the uh, eligible species for the Fisherman Magazine's Dream Boat Challenge. So get in on that. Be sure to weigh those big bluefish in at your local certified weigh station, Dream Boat Weigh Station. So let's see, I got uh, word again of some big bluefish around, and yeah, I got, they're, actually they're not just at the mouth of the Connecticut, uh, there are some in the lower Housatonic River. Uh, I got word from Simon Bain, he was fishing at the mouth of the Housie with his brother Ethan, and he landed a nice 34 inch, 15 pound bluefish. Ethan also nailed a pair of bass, 32 and 34 inches. The fish were all caught on trolling lures, uh, trolled down current, down right by the mouth, and congrats to them, all those fish were released. So that's awesome to hear. Some big bluefish spread out. Not quite as many of them down that stretch of the sound, but they are there. Let's see, sea bass fishing remains very good throughout Long Island Sound. On over to Montauk with some really nice fish being caught. And Fisherman's World was telling us Lucanus jigs have really been the hot ticket for many anglers. As sea bass are a true game fish, and many times an active approach outperforms just dropping a bait down and waiting. Actually, while we were out this morning on the water, dropped the diamond jig down, took a couple of pumps, bang, was right into a sea bass. A couple of pumps later, got a, a big scup, threw them back, so it was basically just killing some time for a few minutes. But it just goes to show you, those are active game fish. They don't just, uh, they're not just attracted to a, a hunk of bait sitting on the bottom. So you want to get on some exciting action, that's the way to go. Drop a jig down there. Porgy limit increased from 30 to 45 fish on party and charter boats right now as of September 1st in Rhode Island, Connecticut, and New York waters. And I will be heading out next week with Captain Greg DeBrule of the Blackhawk for a live report in next week's forecast. Again, porgy limits have gone up from 30 to 45 fish on four higher boats. That means only when you go out on a charter party boat. So standard recreational, you're out on your own boat, the limit remains at 30 fish. So just keep that in mind. Moving on to Rhode Island, the big word has really started last week, but it, it blew wide open in Rhode Island is Bonito. And they are spread pretty much all across uh, uh, South County over to Newport, but they really seem to be concentrated from Point Judith to, let's say, Weekapog, and then some good numbers out in the Watch Hill Reefs. I've been hearing of guys getting them not only f by boat, which, you know, that's the easiest way to target them. I have heard of some confirmed reports taken from shore, and basically the two biggest hot spots in that, or three big hot spots, Weekapog Breachway, you always hear people getting them there, Kwani Breachway, if you can get some access out there, another good spot, and then the West Wall Harbor Refuge area, that, that is just an, uh, a massive expanse of rocks and a great place to get in on some shore bonita. Haven't heard of uh, too many false albacore caught just yet. They are around, but right now, hey, bonita are fine by me. And let's see what else we got. Sea bass, scup, and fluke is still all the bottom fishing. The big three still going really strong down uh, off of South County over on the Block Island. Uh, I've been getting word, sort of mixed results. Some guys doing really well on the fluke over by Block. Some are saying it's somewhat starting to get picked through. Tough to get some of those keepers. But then there was a 15 pounder weighed in last week at Watch Hill Outfitter. So you just never know what's going to come along. And uh, one, one really good item to note on those sea bass as, uh, uh, as of last week. 
excuse me, the sea bass limit in Rhode Island goes up from one fish, which is kind of a joke, to seven fish per angler. So that is awesome news. So all of those extra sea bass you've been throwing back for the last couple of weeks, couple of months, can finally go back into the cooler. So that's a good, good thing to know right now. Uh, let's see who's been doing that. Oh, got word from Little Toot. They were out last week and they were banging basically all, all, all those fish. Sea bass, uh, they, they got plenty of scup. Uh, striped bass have been all around the island, doing really good over there. So, you know, there's not any really monster striped bass coming in right now. The water on Block Island are a little bit warm still. But hey, if you can pick up a couple of fish in that uh, 15, 20 pound range, top your cooler off with some, some bottom fish, you can't beat that. Heading on into Massachusetts, the canal bite was absolutely amazing about a, a week ago uh, I, I got reports some of the best fishing guys have seen in years top water jigs swimmers pretty much everything was going on since then it's kind of an up and down you get a really good bite one day you might have a daybreak bite middle of the day and then it tapers off there hasn't been any real major consistency to it aside from the fact that I'm getting word there's a lot more small bait being seen in the canal that might make it a little more difficult to throw those small offerings to mimic the bait that is in the canal uh, when they're really keyed in on that. It's a lot easier obviously to uh, uh, throw a big top water that looks like a, let's say a mackerel or a bunker or what have you but once they start feeding on the silver signs, those peanuts, it becomes a little bit more difficult in the, in the uh, deep waters of the canal. But it's still worth it. You always get word of some really big fish taken in this time frame. And then lastly, tuna fishing out east of Chatham. Uh, it's it's been one of the better years, one of the best years some guys are saying out there. Uh, tough to beat. Lots of really good fish being caught and of course our buddies uh, uh, Fish Chatham Charters have been doing excellent out there. And they're not just getting into tuna, they're getting a lot of word of sharks and uh, talking of which, Fish Chatham got a 66 inch tuna the other day, then a mako came into the slick, pitched the bait out, they've got an 84 inch fork length mako. So there's an awesome combo right there. Nice bluefin, nice mako awesome day on the water with Captain John of Fish Chatham Charters. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine. If you head out into this water this weekend, wish you tight lines. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.